Hey guys, it's Troy from Troy's Movies today here with kind of a mini update video, just a little something I wanted to share. So, um, you can get the lighting better. There, that must, must be better for you guys. So, uh, I actually got Google Stadia running. <clears throat> As you can see, I have it open there in the background. I don't actually have the Google Stadia console or a controller. I just have the version that's available on Chrome. I downloaded Chrome for Mac, and there we go. I mainly just use it for Stadia. Um, <coughs> so this is like, other than like setting it up and stuff, this is my first time actually going on Stadia, so like to actually browse and stuff. So let's check it out. Um, Oh, that reminds me. Um, <clears throat> I, it does say that you can use controllers uh, on it, so I do have uh, my keyboard and my mouse down there on my messy, messy desk. Um, and I also have this uh, PS4 controller uh, that somebody got for me originally to use for Apple Arcade games, because uh, I don't have a PS4, but uh, now I can use it hopefully for Stadia. Hopefully we can use this, or if not, we have the p uh, keyboard and mouse. It's connected via wire uh, here, because I believe my controller has like issues with the wireless and stuff for, from Mac, but let me just try it. Back to Google Stadia, let those pop in, and yeah, there we go. So, let's open this, and so as you can see... I can scroll with the controller with the left analog stick and also with the scroll wheel, I believe. Yes, you can also do that. So let's go here, press X. All right, let's scroll on down. Oh, oh, this is weird. This is really weird. Um, you can only scroll on the home menu and I believe in games. I haven't actually downloaded any yet. Uh, but, um, because I, like I said, I just got this set up, but, um, it, I believe only in the home menu can you use the left analog stick to scroll, and like in the menus, but you have to use your scroll wheel in the shop menu, so that's kind of weird that you have to do it that way, but, um, I guess that's just how Stadia was designed. Let's get back on here, and, um... We got the, the Avengers, Uno, two different kinds of Uno. And I can't move all with the controller, by the way. But if we do press the PS button, there we go. We got the uh, Stadia menu here. So we can start a party. We can search for friends. We can go here, <coughs> edit our setting and stuff, but I don't want to do that. You can, like, open this up on the fly during games, which is nice. Uh, so let's look for some games. So I don't really want to spend a ton of money on um, Stadia right now. And I don't have Pro, by the way. I would get, like, the free month of Pro and claim all these games and then, like, get off it so I don't have to pay, but from what I can tell, you have to, like, stay on pro to keep these pro games so let me just go to no 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 not stadia pro games um all games here they are see all and then we can search sort by title price age rating newest to oldest but then we will also search by price which is nice looks like the um cheapest game we've got is one hand clapping the early access i don't really like early accesses just for the as it can, you can see here, um, you can like lose access to it if the publisher doesn't finish the game. Like uh, Silent Hills uh, got taken off of the PlayStation Store, and even if you download it before, you can't re-download it. Uh, so that's why I don't. I, maybe I'll get that. It's only like three dollars. Uh, Five dollars is Doom sixty four. <clears throat> we can watch the video. Mature. I'm pretty mature. So it's just Doom. 
so it's just Doom 64. I can play Doom already on my, uh, thing. My, uh, uh, my DOSBox emulator. So it looks like the games that are coming up right now are, like, Super Bomberman R. Uno kind of has to be $10. Laura Croft and the Temple of, uh, Osiris, I... Osiris or whatever. I expected that to be, like, way pricier than originally $20, but for $10, Laura Croft game. Uh, Republic, uh, let's check out Super Bomberman R. I, I like, I like Super Bomberman R, and, well, look, I haven't actually played it, but from what I've seen people playing it, it's pretty cool. Uh, is there a video? No, but there is pictures. Uh, it's look gonna, looking like it's gonna be a fun game here. Another screenshot here says knockout, bombing for relaxation. <laughs> Funny. Uh, premium only features. It's been oh, that reminds me. Uh, is this the? Yes, it's the premium edition. That is nice. You get the Super Bomberman R online and the premium pack online. Requires EULA. Don't know what that means. Uh, it comes from Konami, obviously. Uh, September 1st was the release date. Keyboard and mouse and gamepad. So we will be able to use a PS4 controller. So that's nice. Well, I, I will get this. I just don't have, like, as you can see, if we click on here, I don't have a um, card thingy set up. So uh, once I do, uh, I will download that. I'll play it, maybe make a video on it. Uh, but... I believe uh, that is going to finish up our video on Stadia. I just uh, got the pre versus Stadia, browsing some features, checking out some games, but um, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, smack the like button. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any Troy's Movies videos, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!